Hello, I'm Dr. Achal Pant and as you can make out from the thumbnail and the title of the video, today we'll be discussing about skin changes during pregnancy. Pregnancy can be a very unique experience for women and even though they get a lot of support from other women and from their relatives, there can be certain normal changes that occur in the skin that can sometimes be alarming. So in this video, we'll be discussing all the normal changes that you can expect if you are pregnant. This will be the first part of a four part series in which we will discuss everything about skin and pregnancy. So what are the changes that you can expect on your skin and hair when you are pregnant? So 90% of women who are pregnant experience certain skin and hair changes. First, we will be discussing about the skin changes, then the hair, and then we'll go on to the nails. So on your skin, a lot of women notice hyperpigmentation, meaning darkening of the skin color. It can be diffuse, like they might feel that the entire body has become darker in color. This occurs due to increased production of a hormone which is called MSH, which is a melanocyte stimulating hormone. So this stimulates the cells which make pigment to make more pigment. So this is why you feel that your skin has become darker. Also these changes can occur in the first trimester but becomes more pronounced in the third trimester that is towards the end of the pregnancy. So in the first trimester when you first notice changes in skin color you will notice that there is darkening of your body folds. So your armpits might appear dark, your uh, groin area, the buttock area might appear dark, your umbilicus area which is the navel area might appear darker. So whichever part is already pigmented tends to appear darker and then you, you know you might notice that there is darkening of any new scars. So if you have had any injury recently and it has left a scar, you will notice that that has become darker. If you suffer from freckles or you have a lot of moles on your body, that can also get darker during pregnancy. So these are normal changes. It usually reverses completely after delivery. Sometimes what happens is that instead of diffuse pigmentation, that is diffuse darkening, a darkening that is seen overall, you will only see darkening in certain areas of your body, such as below the navel, you might see a long line that goes beneath and you might see lines on the inner aspect of your arms, on the inner aspect of your thighs. So there can be just certain areas that are affected more than others. Even melasma can occur in pregnant women. So melasma is like dark spots which occur on your cheeks, on the top of your nose, sometimes on the forehead and the upper lip. It can appear more dark during pregnancy or it can start during pregnancy. So melasma can be seen in about 45 to 75 percent of women depending upon their ethnicity. In Indian women it is quite commonly seen. This melasma occurs due to increase in the estrogen hormone, progesterone as well as the melanocyte stimulating hormone. So there are a lot of changes occurring in a pregnant lady, right? So because of all these hormonal changes, the changes in skin color and uh, melasma can occur. Second common condition seen in pregnant women is acne. So they might be suffering from uh, pimples all through their life or sometimes they notice the first onset of acne during pregnancy and you know which can get a little alarming to certain women. So uh, there is increased oil production on the face in women during pregnancy, right? So in patients who have dry skin, it will just give them like a nice glow. So what we say a pregnancy glow is just the sebaceous glands which are the oil forming glands on the skin being active. They are producing more oil and making your skin appear more shiny and reflective giving the appearance of glow. But in certain women because of this overproduction of the oil from these sebaceous glands, the oil forming glands, it can lead to acne. And the course of acne is very unpredictable in women. In some women who have acne might actually become better during pregnancy but in some women it worsens. So the course is variable, it might last for just a few months or it might last for just a few weeks and completely go away or sometimes be quite severe. 
so there is no predictability to how acne will behave in pregnancy and there is a huge variety of acne that we see. This acne usually occurs in the third uh, trimester. Okay, so towards the end of pregnancy you will notice that your skin has become increasingly oily and there are a lot of whiteheads on your face along with red pimples on your face. So that could be the reason. These occur due to increase in the uh, levels of male hormone. So androgen is the hormone which stimulates the sebaceous glands, the oil forming glands to make more oil, right? So because there is increase in the amount of androgen in the body during pregnancy, that is why there is increased occurrence of acne. Along with androgen, it is thought that increased amount of progesterone is also a causative factor for causing acne during pregnancy. So don't worry, it is a normal phenomenon. We get a lot of women who come really worried that you, they never had acne otherwise and just during pregnancy there are sudden eruptions and they expect a healthy glow but they're getting acne. Don't worry, it will all subside after pregnancy. And if it is worrisome, we can always give some certain safe medications to keep the acne under control. One of the most common occurrence in pregnant women which can be alarming to a lot of women but is very very common is stretch marks. So stretch marks occur in about 90% of pregnant women. Okay, So we know that it is going to happen but still patients get very alarmed especially when it is large and red. I will make an entire video dedicated to this topic. After it is out I will be linking it on the i card above. So when do you notice stretch marks? It is obviously noticed when the, the size of the abdomen increases, right? Which occurs after the 6th or the 7th month. When the baby's weight suddenly increases after the 6th and the 7th month, you will notice a sudden appearance of stretch marks. So there are certain risk factors that predispose you to develop stretch marks. If you have had stretch marks before on your thighs, on your breast, then there is high chance that you'll have stretch marks during pregnancy. And also it has been found that there is a genetic predisposition. So in your family, if your mother, sisters had stretch marks during pregnancy, there's a higher chance that you will also develop it. Also, sudden weight gain can lead to increased occurrence of stretch marks. So there are certain things that you need to keep in mind while if you want to avoid occurrence of stretch marks. Another feature commonly seen is swelling of the legs. You might have swelling on your feet which is seen in about 50% of women, especially in the third trimester. So don't be worried, slight bit of swelling on your feet is normal and is expected. It is thought to be due to sodium, salt and water retention. Along with that, the blood vessels in your body are slightly leaky. Okay, so that is why also there is swelling. And because of the baby, which is uh, occupying a large part of your abdomen, it is kind of compressing on the vessels. So there is an effective drainage of the blood from your feet back into the larger vessels and then into the heart. So this obstruction could also be one of the reasons for the swelling. So if it is only restricted to your feet, then it is considered normal. But if you are experiencing swelling early in the morning, which is on your hands, on your face, on your eyelids, and you would want to consult your obstetrician and let her know about these changes. Also, there will be certain changes that you will notice due to changes in your blood vessels. So you are forming an entire blood vessel system, a cardiovascular system in the baby. Right? So there are a lot of factors which will make your vessels also active. So you might notice that your palms have become more red. There are certain red patches on your palms and there might be prominence of blood vessels on your nail folds and your palms might look very red and also sweaty. Due to increased activity of sweat forming glands, you might feel that you are having a lot of sweating during pregnancy. So you feel hot very easily and you sweat profusely. You will notice that you are sweating a lot from your palms and soles and sometimes it can be generalized. You will be sweating a lot from everywhere, right? So this is also one of the normal findings that we see in pregnancy. So make sure that you stay hydrated and you try to stay in an ambient, comfortable environment as much as possible. You might also notice redness and swelling of your gums. So your gums might get red and sometimes less slightly painful. Your tongue and you know the buccal mucosa, the inner aspect of your mouth can also look a little flushed and red. 
all these are normal findings and you need not be alarmed sometimes while brushing or while flossing your teeth you might feel that there's a little bit of bleeding so you can expect a little bit of bleeding of through the gums during pregnancy sometimes what happens is that because there is so many new vessels forming it can lead to small growth on your gums which is known as pyogenic granuloma so this tends to bleed profusely and it really can be alarming sometimes so it is a tumor that can be just burnt off and you know it is very easy to tackle it so if you are having any kind of growth that you feel has occurred suddenly you might want to visit your dermatologist and you know, get it to their attention also one important area that undergoes changes is your nipple area and your areola so you might develop a uh, secondary areola there might be hyperpigmentation around your existing areola increasing the size of your areola right so there might be darkening of the areola along with increase in size of the areola and there might be multiple small bumps on the area which is just active glands so what happens is that your breasts are preparing to breastfeed the baby so it is making certain glands which can moisturize the areola and the nipple area so that the injury is less during breastfeed that is why these glands around your areola can become prominent its main function is to moisturize the nipple so that it will not crack as much and also to make the breastfeeding more easy and less painful now the hair changes so there can be certain changes in your hair you might notice that there are thick hair on your face and also the hair on your scalp has become thicker and are growing faster okay so this is because the hair get pushed into the anagen phase which is the growing phase so that is why you feel that hair look more lustrous and after the birth of the baby in the postpartum time that is after the delivery you will notice that there's a sudden loss of hair okay which is known as postpartum telogen effluvium this is due to sudden change in the levels of the hormone which will cause the loss of hair i have discussed this condition in detail uh, in our section of hair fall and you can click on the i card above to know more about it so you might notice that there is increased facial hair and increased hair on your chin area on your upper lip but don't worry these are all due to different changes in hormones and usually normalizes after the birth of the baby now move now we'll discuss the nail changes you might notice that the nails are becoming thicker they are growing faster and also becoming more brittle you know they just break away with just minimal manipulation and also you will notice that the texture of the nail plate has changed you might notice that there are grooves on your nail plate and when you run your finger over your nails it appears slightly gritty and there are pits and you know not very smooth all these changes are also normal and usually your nail plates will come back to normal after pregnancy so these were the common skin changes seen in pregnancy most of it completely reverse after pregnancy so need not worry about them and also enjoy your time that you're pregnant you know you'll be experiencing this probably just once or twice in your life right so relax and enjoy your time and take care of yourself hydrate yourself properly moisturize your skin and it should all be fine and just enjoy the phase if you have any skin related concerns or any questions about pregnancy and its effect on skin you can mention it in the comment section below and i'll try to answer them i hope you found this video useful if you like the video please press the thumbs up button also in the comment section below let us know what all topics you want us to make videos on if you like such skin and hair related content then you can follow us on other social media handles such as instagram facebook and twitter thank you for watching